The cyclone, it's a category two system at present. It is located, uh, or it was located around 230 kilometers west of Yasawa or 240 kilometers west, northwest of Nandi at around 9 p.m. Fiji time. The system is uh, already having significant impact on the Yasawa Island group of islands uh, with winds up to 65 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 80 kilometers per hour. So is it expected to strengthen as it approaches? So currently it has a peak uh, intensity wind speed of around 60 knots and uh, gusting which is gusting up to 85 knots. It is almost uh, at the borderline between a category three system. So category C three system is 60, uh, 64 knots and above. So it's almost bordering the category three system. The condition for its development, it's uh, becoming a bit unfavorable uh, for its intensification, but we are very carefully monitoring the situation to see if there's any further development of it. And what warnings are in place for Fijians? What poses potentially the greatest threat? Is it the rain and floods, the winds or the high tidal waves or, or all of these? I guess uh, all of uh, the above, uh, but uh, currently the, uh, the places which are in uh, greatest risk are the Yasawa and Mamanuda group, western half of uh, the main island, Viti Levu and the other smaller islands, Vatulele, Kandavu, and nearby islands. Uh, so these are the greatest uh, at risk of, uh, sp uh, with respect to winds. We expect uh, storm or gale force winds over these areas, but uh, gale force winds can expand to other parts of Fiji as well, especially the eastern half of Viti Levu, the western parts of uh, Vanua Levu, and as far as Lomai Viti group. Uh, Together with that, we can expect uh, significant rainfall, especially as the system approaches the uh, larger islands. So there's currently a flash flood warning for whole of Viti Levu current uh, at present time. How prepared is Fiji to deal with this severe weather? I think it is quite well prepared. I think uh, we have mobilized quite early. In fact, uh, warnings were out from uh, from uh, Friday uh, and people have uh, really taken heed of the warnings. Uh, uh, people have moved to evacuation centers. People have, uh, you know, um, they have done their necessary bit in terms of preparation, ensuring that their houses are safe. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, they have um, done all the preparation which was required. Well, um, at the moment, some parts of Fiji are already experiencing heavy rain and severe flooding because this is expected to be the second tropical cyclone to hit this season, which just started two weeks ago. Is that right? Yes, so we had one uh, off-season tropical cyclone uh, in October and this is the second tropical cyclone in the region uh, uh, and this season has just uh, started. And did that cause significant damage and is tropical cyclone Mao likely to cause a fair bit of destruction too? Uh, it is likely to cause uh, destruction, especially close to its center. Uh, it's not a significantly strong cyclone, uh, but uh, still uh, it is in the upper end of the category two system. So it can uh, have uh, a significant impact. So uh, yes, we do expect uh, some major or uh, some significant damages, especially close to the center of the system, especially our Yasama Mamanuda groups and possibly uh, if the system comes close to the Western division and as well as Vatul, uh, Vatulele, Kandavu and the other smaller islands. Okay, well, we'll be watching throughout the evening. Bipan Prakash, thank you so much for updating us. Thanks for having me.